Yo, what up, YouTube? It's uh, Sir Brilliant here, and uh, just wanted to talk to you guys today briefly about albinism. Albinism. The reason why? It's because I'm tired of looking at some of you idiots looking at me like I'm some type of a sideshow freak. Yeah, not very comfortable when I'm out and about. So, having said that, let's get into the facts and the myths about albinism. First of all, what is albinism? It's a congenital disorder in which you lack pigmentation in the eyes, the skin, and the hair. Alright? That's basically what it is. Okay? Now, you have a 1 in 17,000 chance of becoming an albino child. Now, I know albino, like a lot of other people say, but albino, that's how it's supposed to be pronounced, so pronounce it correctly. Get it right next time, alright? So, albino children, every for every 17,000 births, there's one albino child born. Alright, we got that part. Now, how is an albino child born? Well, both parents, not just one, but both parents have to have the gene, the albinism gene, they're recessive. So, in order to, in order to have the gene, well, how do I know I have the gene? Okay. You go to the doctor, yeah, you tell them that you wanna you wanna run a test to see if you have the albinism gene. It's something similar to a blood test to the best of my knowledge, and it takes about maybe a week or so to get the results. And that's how you find out whether you have the albinism gene or not. Alright, for for example, for me personally, my mother is an albino. She automatically has the gene. My father african-american male he had the albinism gene my mother had the albinism gene they had me boom bada boom bada bing now that doesn't mean that every child that they have is an albino that's not necessarily true uh, my, my younger sister you know same mother same father not an albino african-american female and that's what it is sometimes. Alright? So, there's one myth taken care of already. When when you have one albino child, you'll have a whole nursery full of albino children. No, that shit's not true. Alright? So, that's one myth taken care of right now. Alright? There are two types of albinism. Alright? One, oculocutaneous albinism, which is which is basically what I have. You you look the part so to speak. You don't have any pigment in the skin, in the eyes, or the hair, and that's that. Alright? Oculocutaneous albinism. Uh, they also call it OCA. Alright? Uh, ocular albinism. That's called OA. Now, that could be for anyone. Anybody could have that. You just don't have the pigmentation in your eyes. So, Yes, it's possible that you could look like Reggie Bush and not have any pigment in your eyes. Yeah, that shit happens. I don't know how often it happens, but it happens. Alright? So, you know, it is what it is. And I, I've yet to actually meet an albino who is totally blind. I've never met one to this day. But we're we're definitely susceptible to total blindness just like any other human being would be. Alright, so, on towards the myths. One, we're evil. No, we're not all evil, okay? All you Jamaicans that say that we're cursed and all that stuff, we're not, alright? We're, we're regular human beings with, with regular human characteristics, and I should just leave it at, the end of, at, at, at that, alright? Now, second myth is that black albino males like myself have dark penises with with pink tips with pink heads so to speak um, I actually heard that from a from a female once it was pretty funny <laughs> and and actually once she started saying it the more I kept hearing it from people so I don't know how widespread this belief is or not but um, just just to kind of kill that that's not true when you don't have pigmentation, you don't have pigmentation anywhere. 
you don't just have pigmentation in your arm and then the rest of your body looks like looks like me you know that doesn't happen you know that's that's some vitiligo shit that no <laughs> no but anyway that's not true either all right third of all we are um Third of all, we are these, like, super intellects. No, we're not super intellects. Now, a lot of albinos I've met are are very intelligent, very intelligent people, you know, for the most part. But we're not super intellects. Like, we don't just, just come out of the womb, roll scholars, you know what I'm saying? It's not like that. So, that's a, that's a myth as well, all right? Something that I do want to share with you, though, many people treat albinos differently. So, like, for example, in, in East Africa, they either rape you because they feel like you can cure HIV, or they kill you in order for their witch doctors to make these medicines to cure them. So, there you have it. Uh, more so, specifically speaking, Tanzania and uh, Zimbabwe for the, uh, for the rape thing. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure how they're treated in Europe. But um, I've noticed that there are a lot of albinos in Sweden. Um, that's just a, that's just about the only country I know of uh, European-wise, um, and I don't know how they're treated there. To be honest with you, um, oh, one more myth that uh, that we're all white. Yeah, we're all white. Now, granted, the word albino comes from the Latin word albus, which means which means white, but we're not all white. Some of us are Asian, some of us are black, some of us are white, some of us are Hispanic. You know, it, it doesn't matter. You know, it's, it's not limited to any race. It's genetic. So, having said that, we're not all white. So, get that, get that out of your head, alright? You know, that's just a myth. Okay, now, in countries like Brazil, they celebrate albinism. Um, one of the most prestigious parades out there in Brazil has a uh, has this this certain portion in it called the Albino Day Parade, and the albinos are put on display uh, for celebration out there in Brazil. So uh, it depends on it depends on you know the country that you're in. You know they have a certain outlook on albinism. So uh, there you go. Um, basically, that's just about it. You know um, if I didn't touch up on anything that you might have been inquiring about you know what uh, there, there's a female on here one star you know i subscribe to her she has great videos on albinism you know check her out and uh there's also uh, albinism.org yeah that's the noah website you know check that out it's a great source for information and uh that's it i'm out of here